Before we start, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content. Have you ever wondered what could happen to the worldwide economy if China were to attack the Philippines? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? A conflict of such magnitude would definitely ripple beyond their borders, having a profound impact on the global economy. China, as we know, is an economic powerhouse, a key player in international trade and commerce. The Philippines, on the other hand, while not as economically robust as China, is a vital cog in the Southeast Asian market. This hypothetical scenario isn't just about military might, it's about economic stability and how a single event can potentially tip the scales, causing a domino effect that could reverberate around the world. In this video, we will explore this speculative scenario and its potential global implications. Stay tuned as we delve into the intricacies of the global economic landscape and the role these two nations play within it. To understand the potential impact, it's important to grasp the current economic landscape. China, as we know it, is a global economic powerhouse. It stands as the world's second largest economy, and its economic growth trajectory has been nothing short of impressive. From electronics to textiles, China's manufacturing industry is a behemoth, supplying products to nearly every corner of the globe. And then there's the Belt and Road Initiative, China's ambitious project to boost trade and stimulate economic growth across Asia and beyond. This initiative further solidifies China's influence on the global market, making it a key player in global economic affairs. Now let's shift our focus to the Philippines. The Philippines, though not as economically robust as China, holds a significant role in Southeast Asia. It is an emerging market economy and has shown promising growth over the years. The country's economy is primarily based on agriculture, but it has been diversifying with sectors like manufacturing, mining and service industries gaining traction. The economic relationship between China and the Philippines is noteworthy. China is one of the Philippines' largest trading partners, with bilateral trade between the two countries reaching new heights each year. From infrastructure projects to tourism, the economic ties that bind these two nations are extensive and multifaceted. However, it's not all about trade and investments. The Philippines' strategic location in Southeast Asia makes it a critical link in the global supply chain, particularly in areas like electronics and semiconductors. Any disruption in this chain could have far-reaching consequences. With this background, we now delve into the hypothetical scenario of an attack. It's a thought that certainly raises many questions, and as we navigate through these questions, we'll explore the possible consequences for the global economy. The implications could be profound, affecting everything from global trade to the stability of international markets. And in such a connected world, the ripple effects would likely extend far beyond the two countries in question. An attack from China on the Philippines would have immediate economic consequences. Now let's delve into what those could be. First and foremost, we would see trade disruptions. The Philippines is a significant link in the global supply chain with goods flowing in and out of its ports every day. An attack would likely halt this flow, causing shortages and price spikes for goods around the world, from electronics to clothing. The disruption would also affect the movement of raw materials, further crippling industries reliant on these resources. Next, the stock markets. They aren't fans of uncertainty, and an attack like this would be a perfect storm of unpredictability. Investors around the world would likely panic, causing a sell-off that could lead to significant market crashes. It's not just the markets in the Asia-Pacific region that would be affected. The interconnectedness of today's global economy means that stock markets from New York to London could feel the shock waves. And then there's the economic instability within the region itself. The Philippines is a major player in Southeast Asia with a growing economy that contributes to the overall health of the region. An attack would cause a sharp downturn in this growth, leading to job losses and potential social unrest. The economic fallout could even force other countries in the region to divert resources towards defense and away from other critical areas like infrastructure and social services. The tourism industry, a significant contributor to the Philippine economy, would also take a severe hit. 
The ensuing conflict and instability would deter tourists, leading to a drastic decline in tourism revenue. This decline would reverberate through the economy, affecting everything from small businesses to large corporations. In short, the immediate economic fallout of an attack on the Philippines by China would be far-reaching and devastating. And we're not just talking about the Philippines or even Southeast Asia. This is a global issue, with potential impacts reaching every corner of the world. However, the ripple effects of this incident would not be confined to the region alone. The global economy is an interconnected web, and a disturbance in one part sends ripples across the entire system. Imagine a stone dropping into a still pond. The initial splash is local, concentrated. But soon the ripples spread, reaching even the most distant shorelines. This is how disruptions in the global economy function. Let's start with the global markets. Markets are sensitive creatures, reacting not just to the here and now, but also to the anticipation of the future. In the event of an attack on the Philippines, investor confidence worldwide would likely take a hit, leading to a significant drop in global stock markets. Next, consider the geopolitical landscape. Alliances could shift, with countries forced to pick sides, leading to a possible reconfiguration of global power dynamics. This could further complicate international relations, exacerbating economic uncertainty. Now let's talk about trading routes. The Philippines is a crucial link in global trading, particularly in Southeast Asia. An attack could disrupt these routes, leading to delays in trade, increased costs and potential shortages of goods. But the ripples don't stop there. Foreign investments would also be impacted. The Philippines, with its growing economy, has been an attractive destination for foreign investors. An attack could lead to capital flight as investors seek to minimize their risk. Finally, it's important to consider the global supply chain. The Philippines is a key player in sectors like electronics and shipbuilding. A disruption here would have a domino effect, impacting industries worldwide, from technology to transportation. So you see, the potential ripple effects of an attack on the Philippines would reverberate far beyond its shores. They would touch every corner of the globe, every sector of the economy, every aspect of our daily lives. As we can see, the potential worldwide economic consequences could be severe. Looking beyond the immediate impact, there could be long-term economic implications. Let's take a moment to delve into the potential aftermath of such a hypothetical event. A significant long-term impact could be a dramatic shift in the global economic power structure. Currently, China stands as a formidable economic powerhouse. However, a military conflict with the Philippines could cause other nations to reconsider their economic relationships with China. International sanctions could be imposed, severely hampering China's global economic influence. Simultaneously, other nations could witness an economic rise. Countries that have been playing second fiddle in the global economy might seize the opportunity to fill the void left by China's potential economic decline. This could lead to a new world order, with different nations emerging as the leading economic powers. Next, let's consider the changes in economic policies that could follow. Nations worldwide might adopt more protective measures to safeguard their economies from such geopolitical instabilities. This could mean tighter regulations on trade and foreign investments, and a push towards self-sufficiency. While these policies could provide a degree of security, they might also stifle global economic growth and innovation. Finally, we must discuss the potential for a global economic slowdown, or even a recession. A conflict between China and the Philippines could trigger a domino effect rippling through the world economy. With China being a major player in global trade, the disruption could cause significant economic fallout. Consumer and investor confidence could plummet, leading to reduced spending and investment. The world could potentially find itself in an economic downturn, the length and severity of which would be hard to predict. In conclusion, while these are all hypothetical scenarios, they underscore the interconnectedness of our global economy and the potential for far-reaching consequences of geopolitical events. Such an event could redefine the world's economic landscape. So as we consider the future, it's crucial to remember that the economic implications of any major geopolitical event can be as profound and lasting as the immediate fallout. It's important to note that this is a speculative scenario used to illustrate the interconnectedness of our global economy. We've journeyed through the current economic landscape, the immediate economic fallout, the global ripple effects, and the long-term economic implications that would unfold if China were to attack the Philippines. 
These reflections are not to incite fear or anxiety, but rather to highlight how interconnected we are in this global economy. It underscores the fact that the actions of one nation can have far-reaching consequences that go beyond their own borders. In this interconnected world, peace and cooperation are not just moral imperatives, they are economic necessities. By working together, we can create an environment that fosters economic growth and stability for all nations involved. We hope you found this exploration insightful. Do subscribe for more amazing content, keep wondering, and until next time, stay curious.